I'm in depth reporter Rochelle Aline here in Bartow, where the man at the center of a controversial arrest in Lakeland says a new FDLE report has raised more questions than offered answers. Ms. Artman, good morning. Tuesday, in a Polk County courtroom, a plea deal was laid out. The state's offer was for a misdemeanor resisting officer without violence for credit time served, court costs, and fines. That remains the state's offer today. In the state's case against Antoine Glover. Hey! Glover is facing three counts of battery on a first responder and a charge of resisting arrest during this 2022 traffic stop. What is going on here? Why am I on the ground? Why am I getting punched? What is going on? Glover has repeatedly disputed his charges. Black Lives Matter! And just outside of court Tuesday, Glover's family and protesters made it clear that a plea deal was off the table. No, no charges. Drop. And I want every officer that was involved either charged or fired. And we're going to stop. We, we're not stopping. An FDLE investigation used to clear the officers involved in that arrest was released to ABC Action News in early February. That report claims that Glover only stopped fighting after being tased, but it also questions whether or not the taser was used properly. And it reveals that the officer seen hitting Glover has been investigated for use of force in the past. And as Glover's case moves towards trial, those close to him say the report not only raises more questions, but also points to a need for greater police accountability. It's amazing that when you start speaking out against things like this, uh, people feel like you're against cops. We're not against police, we're against crooked police. And Glover is due back in court on April 2nd. In Bartow, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.